Boreda, a Chroiso i Dinas Cardiv, a Kisarmni Radio Privaskol Cardiv. Good morning and welcome to the city of Cardiff and to the graduation ceremony of Cardiff University. I'm Dr. Chris Turner and it's with great pleasure that as university director, I welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. We're here to celebrate our students' achievements and I am particularly pleased to welcome parents, family and friends to join in this celebration. I'm joined here on stage by the Vice Chair of the Council, the Vice Chancellor, the academic staff and the Students' Union representative. The Vice Chair of the Council, Mr Dick Roberts, will formally open proceedings and the Vice Chancellor, Dr David Grant, will receive students to their awards. To my left is Professor Paul Atkinson, the university's orator, and later he will introduce our honorary fellow. Honorary fellowships are awarded at our graduation ceremonies to those who have achieved international distinction in their field, and today we are honored to welcome Dr. John Berg. Students, today marks a marvelous milestone in your life, as it does in the lives of those who have supported you over the last few years. And it's good to see that so many of them are here today. I'm sure it will enhance your understanding and enjoyment of the day if we spend a few moments going through the procedures for the ceremony. For those of you receiving an award today, perhaps you thought that passing your exams was the biggest challenge in gaining your degree. But I can assure you an even bigger challenge faces you today. You have still to cross this stage and shake hands with the correct person. <laughs> Try not to seek your award from anyone other than the Vice Chancellor. The order of proceedings is included in the programme along with the words used for the various stages of the ceremony under the relevant heading. A presenter will read out the names of the students being received to the same award. When each name is called, the student will ascend the stage, walk towards the Vice-Chancellor and shake his hand. Whilst past experience has shown this to be a little more challenging than it sounds, your approach to the stage and your return to your seat will be carefully guided by our marshals. So don't worry. Once the ceremony is underway, it really is a case of follow the leader. When you leave the stage, you will stand with your group facing the stage, and the Vice-Chancellor will formally receive you to your awards. You will doff in reply, and the, you will then be reseated by the marshals. When all awards have been received, students will be asked to stand to receive the university's greetings, and I will ask that all those who have received an undergraduate diploma or degree in any aspect of health care to stand for the recital of the medical oath. Also, and importantly, can I invite you to clap only after the Vice-Chancellor has admitted each group of graduates to their awards, and not as each one crosses the stage. This will ensure that your hands are still in reasonable working order by the end of the ceremony. Finally, can I also ask that you check and ensure that your mobile phone is switched off we will be providing some musical entertainment later in the ceremony, and I can assure you it'll be better than anything your combined ringtones can produce. Enjoy the ceremony. Porida, a Kroisu Yawni ceremony hon, Anayav Dewi Sand Kaidi. Good morning. A warm welcome to you all to the graduation ceremony here this morning at St. David's Hall. My name is Dick Roberts, I'm Vice Chair of Council, and I have a long and happy association with this university, and I hope that you, as graduates, soon to become alumni, will similarly contain, continue that involvement with the university which you've been at for the last three years. My theme this morning is one of congratulations. Uh, first of all, to all of you who are graduating today, this word will be repeated many times. Congratulations, first of all, on winning admission to the university. 
Cardiff enjoys a reputation as one of the most sought after universities in the United Kingdom. Admission standards are high, selection, as you may recall, is extremely competitive, and for every successful student who entered this university, seven were unsuccessful. It's not yet just the United Kingdom that Cardiff enjoys its distinctive reputation, but also around the world. Many of you will have traveled great distances to study at this university. I am pleased to state that that trend continues with international applications for places at Cardiff University up 32% this year, testimony to the value placed upon a degree from the university. Secondly, congratulations on successfully completing the years of study at the university. The university recognizes the value of research-led teaching. Your lecturers are recognized as some of the most original pioneers and thinkers in their chosen subjects or I believe that's what they told me to say. Many of you will have participated in research projects and learned to challenge conventional wisdom. Whether you pursue academic research or follow a different career path, I trust your experience studying at this university will assist you greatly in your future career. The university prides itself in the involvement in students and the development direction of courses. The UK Review Body for University Teaching, through its inspectorate, gave Cardiff University the highest rating for standards of teaching and learning. They especially praise partnership with students at all levels of decision making. This morning we have three schools represented the degree awarding ceremony and all part of the healthcare scene. In dentistry, the school can boast a 100% employment rate for its graduates you will have experienced community-led based teaching, clinical teaching, in dental units, in hospitals around Wales and in England. It's a credit to the leadership of the school that alumni go on to enjoy prestigious careers in various fields. And I'll just give you examples of two who I have the great fortune to be friends of. One being Gareth Jenkins, a local practitioner, dental practitioner who's working dental implants set the trend for many who followed. And also my colleague, Paul Langmaid, who is the Chief Dental Officer at the Welsh Assembly Government and who is distinction with sharing a PA with me. The challenge for all dental graduates is great. You move into different fields, into looking at the prevention of dental disease. But also as young graduates, you have to wrestle with the problems which beset the health service in Wales and that is how you balance NHS and dental practice. And that is becoming an increasing problem as we look at the way that governments fail to negotiate more our sensible contracts. In the School of Nursing, the results have been excellent, with 99% of graduates last year securing employment. Students will have benefited from the university's strong links with Gwent and Cardiff and the Vale NHS Trust. I am fully aware of the challenging and changing pathways for nursing and midwifery with a constant increase in responsibilities undertaken particularly in secondary care but also in the community. As a profession takes on greater and greater responsibility in developing their roles, it's important for you with your degrees in nursing and midwifery ensure you're supported by a trained diploma level at least nursing underbelly that will actually make sure that patients, when they're in secondary care, who need the tender loving care, are supported so you can actually do that which you're trained and we can, as a hope of all of that, achieve a nursing career which is an exemplar in the whole of the UK. Optometry. Now this is where I disclose my hand because I am by profession an optometrist and a graduate of this university. The school has changed beyond recognition due to the excellent leadership it currently enjoys. A higher education funding council assessment of its undergraduate teaching in UK departments of Tomtree resulted in an excellent designation for the school. It has also achieved a 96% score in student satisfaction in the last national student survey. Today's graduates will have benefited from the wonderful facilities provided at the school's prestigious building in Mainly Road. 
and I'm delighted, and this is the first opportunity to say this publicly, that the new Wales Optometric Postgraduate Education Centre will be launched in September. Its home will be at the school, and I'm personally grateful for the support that I, the school, and others have seen in the establishment of the centre from the Vice-Chancellor, officers of the university, and academics from other disciplines. The Postgraduate Centre will offer a portfolio of high-quality learning opportunities and enjoy its wholehearted support from the profession in Wales. It is worth stating that it's the first postgraduate centre for optometry, not just in the UK or in Europe, but in fact in the world. And I trust that many of you will stay on for postgraduate study and link with the centre throughout your careers. Thirdly, congratulations on your contribution whilst you've been student at this university in Cardiff and in Wales. In recent years, students have honed their entrepreneurial skills as well as outreach in the community. There's been help for the homeless in the city, raising the monies to pay for clean water in countries abroad such as Africa, and many of you have taken part in student volunteering in Cardiff, one of the largest such schemes in the UK. And the council last night in this meeting was treated to a presentation by the student president and one of the sabbatical officers of the tremendous work that's been undertaken by student volunteering in Cardiff. You've given more than 100,000 hours of your time in the past year, helping approximately 1,000 citizens of Cardiff on a weekly basis. You are the prime reason why Cardiff University is so valued in the community, and the Council of this university is justly proud of your achievements. All of you, as healthcare professionals, have an exciting and challenging career ahead of you. And for those of you who practice here in Wales, the challenges will be even greater and more diversified. As an advisor of the Health Minister, I'm only conscious and too well aware of the challenges which lie ahead. But if you have the dedication, application, and professionalism to rise to those challenges, then you will make a significant impact on the health and the well-being of the population that you serve. We've all suffered in the health profession from the ramifications of the Shipman Inquiry, the problems we set at Bristol, and we've had to consider our delivery of re-accreditation, revalidation, and our methods of practice, and we also work in an environment which has become increasingly lit litigious. But you need have no fears as you embark upon your chosen careers if you heed just one piece of advice that I will give you this morning, and it is simply, treat your patients as you would wish them, if you were, as you would wish health professionals to treat you or a member of your family if you weren't who you are. Finally, may I offer to parents, partners, and family on your behalf, thanks. Thanks for the support given to your studies. Thanks for the money that's bankrolled you through university when grants have run out. And I'm delighted to see you all here this morning to join us in the celebrations on this very special occasion. For those graduating, may I suggest this is not the beginning of your association with Cardiff University, but a new beginning. Today you will join the worldwide family of Cardiff alumni, its organization which helps you stay in touch with each other and with us. I hope you will reflect upon your experience at Cardiff with fond memories, that you will visit us whenever you're able, and that you will support the university in the years to come so that new generations can benefit from teaching and learning at Cardiff University just as you have. Thank you. Dallenir proclamation ffurfiol y cynulliad yn gyntaf yn Gymraeg ac yna yn Saesneg. The formal proclamation of the congregation will be read first in Welsh, then in English. Nerth gwlad eu gwybodaeth, a nation's strength is in its learning. Boid hysbys i'r holl aelodau'r brifysgol ac ar hyd a lled y byd, fod cynulliad o brifysgol caerdydd yn cael eu gynnal heddiw am rhif ddinas Cymru. O dan y diwrdod siarter fenhinol y brifysgol, mae'r cynulliad hwn yn cyfarfod i dderbyn y myfyrwyr sydd yn rhywbeth 
ei hystudiaethau a'u hysgol heictod wedi eu rholi yn briodol an ôl astudio'r brifysgol ac wedi eu cael yn deilwng o'u graddau. Wrth allu ffwyddiant o rai sy'n graddio yn y cynulliad hwn, fe eu hatgoffa o'u cyfrydoldeb i gyfrannu o werthoedd y brifysgol hon. Nod iddyn hwy yw ceisio trwy eu cyflawniadau wasanaethu erlais pawb. Ymdrech i sicrhau yr agoriaeth am hob peth ac am boen i am ddyfodol ein byd. Gryndewch yn awchus i'r doethineb gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwynionedd i'r ymhob cynhedlaeth. Let it be known to all members of the university and throughout the world that today in the capital city of Wales a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. Under the authority of the university's royal charter, this congregation meets to receive those students who, by virtue of their studies and scholarship, have been appropriately examined according to the statutes of the university and found worthy of their degrees. We celebrate the success of those who graduate in this congregation and in doing so, remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this university. It is for them to seek through their achievements to serve the common good, to strive for excellence on all things and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom, for it offers hope and truth in every generation. I, Professor Elizabeth Treasure, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Zina Zara Asili. Claire Abigail Batten. Melissa Brown. Thomas Edward Bysuth. Zoe Leanne Clark, Aled Duffrig Clement, Anwin Louise Cope, Suzanne Laura Coward, Gareth Owen Crowther, Owen Dimmick. Laura Dinsdale, Nitin Dugal, Caroline Emma Formosa, Victoria Annabel Gill, David Anthony John Guire. Rhiannon Harbour, Timothy Michael Hodges, Elspeth Watkin Hughes, Sigra Iqbal, Samantha Olwyn Keneally, Gina Kilfeber. Good morning. At this point in the ceremony, and at other equivalent times, it is a tradition of the university for the Vice-Chancellor to speak in Welsh to receive each group of graduates to their awards. The Welsh phrase I will use when translated means, through the authority conferred upon me by the university, I receive you to the award or degree which I'll name, and to all the privileges of that degree. Prwy awd i'r dod a brifysgol a ymddiriedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i raf baglor mewn llaw feddygaeth ein tyddol ag i holl ffrenia raf hon. Congratulations.
Adam James Flewellen, Edward William Maidley, Sheena Madhani, Alicia Manji, Hannah Elizabeth Mankalo, Benjamin Charles Mansell, Lucy Ann Moore, Lindsay Ellen Morgan, Ricky Sachin Mudlia Morgan, Lo Lauren Eleanor Moyle, Jenna Murgatroyd, Rebecca Elizabeth Oakley, Sarah Jennifer Oldland, Pra Pratik Mukesh Patel, Vikash Patel, Maria Pavli, Julia Rachel Elizabeth Pepper, Pavna Prashara, James Alexander Prince, Manon Fleur Pritchard, Ellen Elizabeth Robinson, Zara Yusuf Roked, Oliver Caleb Harris Rowe, Jilna Amishan Shah, Neil Ramnikla Shah, Rushab Rohit Shah, Savan Kalpesh Shah, Harjinder Singh Singh Rao, Pooja Suchak, Shahzad Tahir, Fionn Mari Thomas, Christopher John James Truman, Mira Unarket, Alana Gloria Viles, Denise Elizabeth Walters Payne, Victoria Patricia Ward, Alex James Wilmore, Robert Woodward, Danesh Mahmood Zakai. Rhwi a dyrdod a brifysgol am ddiriedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i radd baglor mewn llaw feddygaeth feintyddol ac i holl frania radd hon. Congratulations.
I, Professor Elizabeth Treasure, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Science. Nikita Gosrani. Catherine Sarah Lawson. Miles Joseph Povey. Rui Audir Dod Abrevascol, am Dirchietuid i mi, der Baniev Hui i Rath Baglor, man with Doniaid, Aki Hoch, Ferania Rathon. Congratulations. Professor Elizabeth Treasure introduce those who have received the Diploma of Higher Education. Christy Lee Butnell. Marisa Natalie Connett. Claire Leanne Jones. Naomi Lucy Maslin. Catherine Juliet McCann, Alexandra Northcott, Anne Phillips, Amanda Salazar, Ingrid Demelza Bowden. Amy Greenway, Amy Rebecca Greenwood, Gemma Hannah Paul, Elizabeth Jane Tyler, Laura Elizabeth Williams, Lindsay Wright. Rui Audir Dod Abrevascol, and their Yetuid I me, Der Baniav Hui, I the Ploma at this Yuch. Congratulations. I, Professor Sheila Hunt, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Midwifery. Claire Louise Botticelli. Emily Sarah Brace. Anne Marie Burin. Bethan Marie Cox. Erica Geraldine Dench. Sally Ann Olivia Field. Sarah Germain. Denise Goodman. Samantha Joanne Hunt. Tanya Alicia Jones. Tracy Michelle Lawrence. Sarah Madley. Miranda Millet. Diane Pamela Pemberton. Sharon Gillian Porter, 
Victoria Jane Priest. Laura Rose. Nicola Louisa Smith. Katie Helen Francis Tweedale. Eileen Williams. Prui a dyr dod a brifasgol a amddiriedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i'r baglor man fydd greig i aeth ac i holl ffrenio rath hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Sheila Hunt, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Nursing, Adult Nursing, Kirsty Marie Adams, Charlotte Allen, Lisa Marie Armitage, Louise Natasha Ashley, Heidi Bach Order, Jessica Bailey, Kate Elizabeth Barnett, Katie Barrett, Sarah Louise Barrett, Hello. Nicola Jane Bainton. Rosemary Diana Bell. Gabriella Belanca. Kelly Bennett. Donna Patricia Bileski. Helena Claire Booth. Darren John Booten, Martin Bowden, Maria Bowditch, Zena Ann Bowen, Catherine Bradshaw, Carrie Brinkard. Delith Elizabeth Brown, Sarah Joanne Caithness, Gaynor Bernadette Cameron, Cassianne Carey, Deborah Jane Carmichael. Prwy a dyr dod a brifasgol a amddiriedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i'r baglor mewn national ac i holl ffrenio rath hon. Congratulations. Jacqueline Ann Carr.
Carly Maria Cartwright. Maxine Chard. Laura Ann Clark. Rachel Tony Kondek. Natalie Louise Cook. Caroline Elizabeth Courtney. Leanne Crocker. Rachel Haley Crooks. Kylie Mowena Kasak. Kim Danta Hill. Antonella Davis. Catherine Sean Davis. Debbie Davis. Lisa Marie Davis. Rachel Davis. Tanya Jane Davis. Adam Philip Didcott. Helen Selena Dix. Emma Downer. Jennifer Ann Downs. Jennifer Dyson. Andrea Rose Edwards. Keris Mary Edwards. Prui Adir Dod Abrivaskol, am dir Yatwit i me, der Banyav Hui, i Rod Baglor Mount Nasho, Aki Hof, Vrenya Rathon. Congratulations. Alison Ellis. Lucinda Mary Evans. Martin Scott Evans. Tamara Patricia Sandra Evans. Andrew Richard Facer. Joanne Fear. Susan Elaine Ferguson. Kate Melanie Flynn. Donna Helen Ford. Justine Ford. Pauline Franchi. Andrea Francis. Colette Elizabeth Frost. Rachel Fullerlove. Robert George. Rachel Claire Gothard. Katie Jade Grant. Helen Rian Greenway. Rachel Griffiths. Zara Elizabeth Griffiths. Karis Hamer. 
Colleen Violet Mary Hardcastle. Sarah Louise Hardy. Emma Louise Harvey. Truly out here's Dod Abrivaskol, I am the Rietweed Emi, Der Banyab Hui e Ra Baglor Mount Nasso, Aki Hoch, Franya Rathon. Congratulations. Susan Heaven, Melissa Jane Hilberg, Cara Louise Hinchcliffe, Kate Elizabeth Hoban, Catherine Susan Hobbs. Emma Victoria Hodgson, Amanda Holland, Jody Howe, Nia Hughes, Sharon Hunter, Heather Hyatt. Susan Jane James Logan. Louise Juliet Jenkins. Samantha John. Carla Johnson. Rachel Elizabeth Johnson. Glane Jones, Lindsay Jones, Natalie Ann Jones, Rachel Elizabeth Jones, Rachel Joy Abigail Jones. Sharon Jones, Sally Kempson, Jenny Amy Kendall, Judith Lancet, Trwy awdur dod abrifasgol am ddiwrchiedwyd i mi derbaniaf chwi i roedd baglor mewn nasio ac i hoch frania roedd hon. Congratulations. Hannah Louise Leggett, Cheryl Lewis, Helen Lowney, Alexandra Leon, Kirsten Louise Main, Victoria Leanne Mansell. Kate Matthew, 
Linda Christine McManus. Sarah Louise Milbank. Carla Louise Morgan. Heather Naish. Jacqueline Ann O'Sullivan. Martha Sheila O'Dwyer. Kate Ellen O'Hara. Cher Page. Laura Claire Palmer. Rebecca Ann Pimenta. Nicola Suzanne Parker. Rachel. Rachel Elizabeth Partridge. Nairi Jackson Payne. Rebecca Peary. And Harrod Claire Phillips. Sue Podbury. Katie Sean Porter. Truy Audir Dod Abrivaskol, and the Yetweed, E me, Der Banya Hui, E Roth Baglor Mam Nasho, Aki Hoch, Frenya Rothom. Congratulations. Wendy Ann Power. Natalie Jade Price. Anna Prickett. Charlotte Elizabeth Priddle. <coughs> Gemma Reese. Jade Mary Reese. Jill Reynolds. Claire Louise Rich. Dawn Ridgeway. Tyrone Lee Mark Roberts. Debbie Ryan. Jessica Santry. Rachel Francis Scott. Simon Seeger. Rebecca Jane Louise Simpson. Catherine Sinar. Adrian Leone Smith. Rachel Louise Smith. Sarah Smith. Stephanie Heather Smith. Luann Marie Spencer. Anna Stevens. Claire Anne Stevens. Rebecca Emma Sutton. Rachel Anne Sykes.
Pwy a dyr dod a brifasgol a amfiorhiedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i rath baglor mewn nesso ac i holl ffrenia rath hon. Congratulations. Kelly Simons. Keris Tart. Catherine Maida Thomas. Christopher Hugh Thomas. Catherine Joanne Thomas. Rachel Sarah Thomas. Carrie Ann Tucker, Carly Ann Turner, Jennifer Louise Ty, Catherine Ann Waller, Jackie Marie Watkins, Sarah Victoria Watkins. Amy Webb, Claire, Claire Welsh, Craig Westwater, Ruth Elizabeth White, Louise Ann Williams, Julie Dawn Williamson, Claire Louise Willis, Lindsay Wilson, Claire Joanne Windle, Gemma Jane Woodman, Jessica Rian Worsey. Rwy a dyr dod a brifasgol a ymfiorhiedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i roth baglor mewn nesso ac i holl ffrenia roth hon. Congratulations. Laura Karen Jane Baker, Sarah Louise Ball, Eleanor Jane Bithell, Jennifer Rose Brown, Amanda Jane Carey, Sarah Carver, Samantha Louise Collins, Isabel Greaves, Chloe Elizabeth Guntenbun, Amy Harwood, Bryony Ann Hathaway Jenkins, Nicola Hinks, Kerry Ann Holbrook, Bethan John, Helen Sean Jones, 
Stephanie Louise Jones. Philippa Mary Lawrence. Sarah Laurie. Faye Lease. Nicola Janine Long. Trui a dyr dod a brifosgol a ymthyrhiedwyd i mi derbaniaf chwi i rodd baglor mawn nasio ac i holl ffrania rodd hon. Congratulations. Elise Malpiedi. Lauren Owen. Michelle Owen. Laura Elizabeth Parrott. Laura Pope. Jenna Marie Porter. Amanda Pratt, Amy Joanne Purnell, Katie Ridley Siegert, Karina Eliri Simons, Sarah Jane Smith, Maria Talbot Payne. Emma Tro, Emma Watson, Kelly Weber, Kerry Elizabeth Whitby, Emma Jane Wild, Lauren Elizabeth Williams. Brian Williams, Julie Mary Witchell, Trui out here, Dodd Abravaskol, and the Archiet Weed, Amy. Derbaniaf chwi i rodd baglor mewn naso ac i holl ffrania rodd hon. Congratulations. Mental health nursing. Catherine Ruth Allen, Hannah Amelia Elizabeth Anderson, Philippa Louise Clark, Harve Francis Elizabeth Davis, Kate Louise Edwards, Karen Fideli. Jane, Mel Jane Melanie Galvin. Zoe Georgina Gillings. Caroline Melinda Gilmore. Claire Louise Holder. Alicia Jane Holmes. Lisa Jane Lopez, 
Rowena Kathleen Mason. Katrina Maxwell. Lena Janine Mears. Angela Neris Morgan. Nicola Napier. Kelly Nunnally. Stephanie Louise O'Donoghue. Jolene Amy Powell. Michelle Ann Ratcliffe. Jacqueline Ann Simpson. Deborah Louise Smith. Laszlo Tukats. Louise Susan Young. Ann Ancy Anthony. Tracy Jane Prothero. Three out dear stod Aprovascal, a Amthir Yetweed, e me, Derbania Hui, e Roth Baglor Mount Nasho, Aki Hawk, Vrania Rathon. Congratulations. I, Professor Sheila Hunt, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Science. Christina Anderson. Sharon Llewellyn Arklas. Caroline Bates. Michelle Margaret Bell. Emma Blunt. James Margaret, sorry, Jane Margaret Campbell. Sorry. Sharon Claire Cassidy. Sarah Louise Cheese. Erica Lindsay Cook. Laurie Elizabeth Cowdell. Bernadette Cowley. Asunta Carruthers. Emma Davis. Michelle Elizabeth Donovan. Ben Durham. Nicola Ann Foley. Emma Jane Haggerty. Angela Jean Hicks. Rebecca Jane Hodge. Anwen Eris James. Sean Kelly, Helen Kendrick, Trui Audir Dod a Prevascal, Amthir Yetweed, Amy, Derbania Hui. Ira Baglor man with Donnie Eith, Aki Hoch, Frenya Rathon. Congratulations. Eula 
Udengard Kennedy. Beverly Diane Keyes. Louise Lidbury. Margot Jane Lloyd. Carolyn Macklin. Catherine McClements. Hannah McIntyre. Patricia Ann McKenna. Caroline Methvin. Dawn Morgan. Priyan Delith Morgan. Therese Morley. Melanie Noble. Dean Patrick O'Connor, I've sent you. Anne Louise Patterson. Alexandra Helen Victoria Poole. Wrong name. Oh, Karen Mary Powell. Sorry. Melanie Jane Powell. Rebecca Powell. Coral Reese. Tracy Claire Shanahan. Jane Silcox. Truia dear Dod Abrivaskol, am dear Yetweed, he me, der Banyev Hui, Ira Baglor man with Doniai, Aghi Hoch, Franya Rahon. Congratulations. Alison Grace Snell. Hester Josephine Thomas. Sarah Thomas. Suzanne Elizabeth Thomas. Richard Owen Venn. Claire Williams, Tracy Baker, Donna Marie Cook, Carol Jane Emerson, Emma Louise Goodway, Jane Jordan, Sally License Law, Joanne Elizabeth Pugh, David James Simpson, Shirley Jane Strong, Deborah Mary Walters. Melanie Teresa Wood. Maritas Albalos. Sharon Tracy Chamberlain. Timothy Jerome Henderson. Kenneth John Hull. Nicola Rowe, Charlotte Alexandra St. John Hope,
trwy awd i'r dod a bryddysgol am ddyrchiedwi ti mi derbyniach chwi i roth baglor mewn gwythboniau ac i hoch ffrenia roth hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Sheila Hunt, introduce those who have received the graduate diploma. Sarah Louise James. Andrea Louise Priddle. Hayley Maria Saunders. Rhwy a dyr dod a brifasgol am ddyrchiedwyd i mi derbaniaf chwi i ddyploma gryfedig. Congratulations. I, Professor Sheila Hunt, Introduce those who've received the Diploma in Higher Education. Kerry Markey. Debbie McCreary. Nicola Murphy. Sonia Margaret Davis. Joanne Evans. Catherine Patricia Johnson. Ruth Mary Jones. Diana Kabajumba. Heather Jane Mahoney. Gillian Matheson. Simone Patricia McCartney. Sarah Louise Merrick Carr. Mandy Osborne. Tanya Payne. Sasha Prophet. Natalie Ann Prosser. Candace Louise Rowlands. Mary Sage. Debbie Tracy Watkins. Stella Young. Rhwy awd i'r dod a brifasgol am ddyrchiedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i ddyploma a ddys iwch. Congratulations. I, Professor Tim West, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Science. Charlotte Emily Andrews. Faria Annis. Rachel Claire Brambrick. Sarah Lucy Bishop. Farah Bint Nashir Bonaparte. Allard John Brassington. 
Tamsin Rose Callahan, Lucy Claire Cameron, Apple Chung Ying Cham, Liyun Jacinta Chen, Lisa Ann Chu. Yi Ling Chong. Brona Clark. Eleanor Rachel Collins. Miriam Conlon. Sean Croker. Kavita Dasani. Amy Driscoll, Laura Elizabeth Dundas, Matthew Dunn, Helen Maria Fowl, Rui a dyrdod a prifasgol a ymddyrhiedwyd i mi der baniaf chwi i, ba, a, I raf baglo'r mewn gwyddoniaeth ag ei holl ffrenia radd hon. Congratulations. Rebecca Ruth Gerling, Catherine Jane Harris, Emma Hessian, Anisha Hindocha, Ellen Mary Shan Hitching, Lee Lan Huang. Ali Hussein Jiwa, Christopher Thomas Jones, Eleanor Scarfield Jones, Geraint Jones, Suam Parry Jones. Dipali Joshi, Dominic Ku, Irina Kovaleva, Nikesh Ladd, Francesca Luisa Lado, James Lau. Stephanie Helen Lipsy, Jerry Mann, Trui Audirstad a Privascol, a Ampirietweed, a me. Der baniaf chwi i raf baglo'r mewn gwyddoniaeth ag ei holl ffrenia radd hon. Congratulations. Karina Ann McElduff, John McGuinness, 
Gillian Janet McElroy, Catherine McMahon, Courtney Malia, Helen Verity Mills, Neelam Mohammed, Deborah Ann Murray, Juan Ordaz de Torres, Jonathan Samuel Parks, Chirag Patel, Damesh Patel, Sijal Patel, Ko Peng Kiat, Lydia Phillips, Bachita Kafu. Helen Porter, Kerry James Prowbert, Gickling Marilyn Pua, Amit Kieran Shah, Rui a dyr dod a brifosgol, a ymddyr iedwyd i mi derbaniaf chwi i'r baglor mewn gwyddoniau ac i holl ffrania rath hon. Congratulations. Nisha Mahendra Shah, Maria Faith Sigston, Mark Christopher Simpson, Navid Siraj, Zoe Ann Stagnetto, Nicola Louise Shostek. Mai Hai Melissa Tan, Rebecca Joy Tattersall, Dawn Louise Thackeray, Rebecca Sean Thomas, Tong Ki Tian, Rachel Louise Tinsley. Daniel Matthew Williams, Alexander Windle, Sinyi Yap, Alexandra Young, Tayaba Zaman. Rwy a dyr dod a brafasgol a ymddyr iedwyd i mi derbaniaf chwi i'r oedd baglor mewn gwyddoniau ac i holl ffrania rath hon. Congratulations.
I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the award of postgraduate certificate. Margaret Emma Mary Ballard. Ruth Farrell. Yasmin Elmore Hack. Philip Jason Hill. Sarah Nicholas. Elwin Ruth Wyatt. Trui a dir dod a brifasgol a amthyr yedwyd i mi der baniaf chwi i dystasgrif olreddedig. Congratulations. I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the award of postgraduate diploma. Susan Caroline Ayres. Stephanie Cotton. Catherine Fletcher. Neris Emma Godfrey. Joanne Elizabeth Guy. Claire Andrea Jones. Hazel Sheila Kasek. Louise Georgina O'Kelly. Lindsay Peddle. Kate Elizabeth Phillips. Susan Alona Shaw. Ruth Silcox. Elisa Ann Thomas. Julia White. Katrina Wilmot. Trui a dir dod a brifasgol a amthyrhiedwyd i mi der baniaf chwi i the ploma olreddedig Congratulations. I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Science. Muna Al Mushaika. Meshaker. Yahi Ya Al Shidi. Hannah Barker. Alison Davis. Annette Beasley. Karina Jane Bretland. Belinda Jane Channing. Diane Helen Dyson. Sandra Jane Hall. Sheila K. Harrison. Amanda Louise Mia. Anne Martina Ming. 
Yvette Hurston. Mark Pittman. Julia Claire Summerford. Janet Ann Watkins. Denise Yvonne Williams. Marion Williams. Selena Louise Williams. Shaikh Shimaz Hishamdeen. Ariba Khan. Prui Audir Dod Abrivaskol, and the Riedwid Imi. Der Banyev Hui e Rath Athro Man Gwithonii Agi Hoch Vranya Rathon. Congratulations. I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Dental Science. Michael Keith Allen. Prui Audir Dod Abrivaskol, Am Virgedwid Imi, Der Banyev Hui, Irath Athro Man Gwithonii Thain Tadol, Agi Hoch, Frenya Rathon. Congratulations. I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Philosophy. Parkash Lohana. Prui Audir Dod Abrivaskol, Am Virgedwid Imi, Der Banyev Hui, Irath Athro, Maun Athroniai, Agi Hoch, Vranya Rathon. Congratulations. I, Professor Malcolm Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Mohammed Othman Abu Hassin. Linda Margaretha Bakker. Matthew Peter Cayley. Reni Swet E. Chow. Helen Jane Court. Matthew Wade Davis. <laughs> Chung Hao Kao. Charlotte Lawthorn. Yuan Lei. Slegiana Malik. Robert McAndrew. Heiko Pult. Jack Shepherd.
Rhwi a dyr dod a brifysgol am ddiriedwyd i mi derbyniaf chwi i roth doethur mewn y throniaeth ac i holl ffrenia'r roth hon. Congratulations. We now come to an important and an indeed uh, a solemn part of the ceremony, and that is the recital of the medical oath. Can I ask all those who have received an initial diploma or degree in any aspect of health care to stand? Can I also invite the platform party to stand? The oath reader will declare the oath first in Welsh and then in English. And then I will ask you to agree the oath by inviting you to say the words, I do. Roedd yn addo mae fy mlaen oriaeth gyntaf i'r gofalu am fy ngleidion. Byddai fy'n ystyriol wrth fy hoff gleidion ac fe ymdrechaf i gyfathrebu yn effeithiol yn hwy. But the Vimparchi Erdas at Anibaniath in Glavion. A can parchi a howl, Yemunaid and Slown, at Pendavaniada and Lina Boval. But the Vobams are an honest, a can the Bernadoi. A but the Vimparchi, a can diogeli good body, Gavrinachol. Navid Vinhaliadai personal and Amhari dim at Goval at Roda in Glavion. Gan Gidnabod Bord Vingham Hoyser than Gaving Edig. By the four bumps that are due with our evening with our day, a skilly professional. Os credaf nad oedd fi, ni cydweithwyr yn addas i ymarfa, fy waith redaf yn gyflym i ddiogelu cleifion rhagrysg. Ni fyddaf yn gamddurnyddio fy sefyllfa professional, ac fe waithiaf gyda chydweithwyr yn ffordd gorau e'r lles y cleifion. Ni fyddaf byth yn gwahaniaethu yn anheg yn erbyn fy ngleifion, Nab Kidwaithwir. A by the Vob Amser and Barrow, to give you an hive and white red oid or thent. Rather the revered hun out of a flu, or with rod a codivri calon. I promise that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. I will be considerate to all my patients and will strive to communicate effectively with them. I will respect my patients' dignity and autonomy and their right to be fully involved in the decisions about their care. At all times, I will be honest and trustworthy, respecting and protecting confidential information. My personal beliefs will not prejudice my care of patients. Recognising the limits of my confidence, I will keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. If I believe that I, or a colleague, may not be fit to practice, I will act quickly to protect patients from risk. I will not abuse my professional position and I will work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients. I will never discriminate unfairly against patients or colleagues and will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I make this promise solemnly, freely and upon my honour. Do you agree the oath? platform party to be seated. Can I now invite all of you who have received your awards this morning to stand? <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> so that you can receive the greetings of the Vice Chair of Council and the representative of the Students' Union. May your care ever be for the success and good name of the University and of our country. You are now members of the distinguished alumni of this university. May your association with the university be cherished and be constant throughout your life. 
and may your care ever be for the fellowship of our university and the welfare of all people. Now before you sit down, I'm sure that all you very proud graduates would like to join in a long-standing tradition at Cardiff at these ceremonies, and that is to pay a special tribute to your families and friends, and indeed to the academic staff who have supported you over many years and who have helped you to reach this important point in your career today. Can I invite you then to turn around, to greet your family and friends, and to say a very special and a very public thank you to them by giving them an enthusiastic round of applause. Thank you. Please be seated. Vice Chancellor, sir, it's my very great pleasure to introduce Dr. John Burke to be admitted to the Fellowship of Cardiff University. My strength is as the strength of ten, declared Sir Galahad, and who could doubt the strength of ten? The Republic of Ancient Rome appointed the Decembery, the Commission of Ten, to devise legal reforms, to administer justice, and to oversee the distribution of land. From the 14th century to the 18th century, the Council of Ten was one of the key governing bodies of the Republic of Venice. But there can have been few tens who ever had the significance or the impact on the well-being of so many people as another more recent group of ten. The medical research charity founded by ten philanthropists and called appropriately ten of us has made an unrivaled contribution to research and treatment for many people here in Cardiff and in the wider world. Ten of us founded here in Cardiff now supports a wide programme of research, public awareness and care. When John Burke married his wife June, who is with us in the hall today, he metaphorically and literally married into the Ten of us family, for June was a daughter of one of the original founding ten. And for the past 40 years, John has been a supporter, a campaigner, an activist, and a fundraiser for cancer research and founder of the Tenebus Cancer Research Foundation. In 1964, he published Cancer Awareness. A million copies of that were distributed, and it was reproduced and distributed in nine other countries. And John has gone on to be one of the most prominent and influential activists in global campaigns to promote research and healthcare programs in the field of cancer. Among many other programs, which are too numerous to list here today, the Tenevis Centre for Cancer Research located in the Welsh School of Pharmacy here in Cardiff University, has a long and distinguished history of research on prostate cancer and breast cancer. It was here, Vice-Chancellor, that work established the significance of tamoxifen, now the world's most successful and most widely used drug for the treatment of breast cancer. Tenevis also supports the work of the Cancer Genetic Service for Wales, where the identification of susceptibility genes for a variety of cancers means that individuals' risks may be identified through screening programmes and other interventions. Tenevis supports research on genes associated with prostate cancer here in Cardiff, 
as well as research programmes on colorectal cancer, stomach cancer, elsewhere in Wales. In celebrating the lifetime achievements of Dr. Burke here today, who has personally been responsible for raising over £12 million of money to support charitable work and research work in the field of cancer. We pay tribute to him. We pay tribute to the support and engagement of his wife, June. And if I may say so, sir, through him we recognise the achievements and contributions of all those involved in the Tenevis Cancer Research Fund, all those involved in the wider family of Tenevis research and charitable work. And it's a great privilege, sir, to be able to present Dr. John Burke to you today as a fellow of the university. Andre Devis Iskan Hatlor, Kovloinov E.T. John Burke, Vel Kamraud Arand Radev, Privesgol Kardi. Dear Dod a Rothwid in me, can a Congor der Banya Hui fell come round there and rudder, Rivascal Cardiv. It has now become tradition at this stage in the graduation ceremony to give you a little bit of entertainment and we have set up within the university an uh, investment in something which is very new at the university, particularly at the statue of something like Cardiff University, which is the Cardiff International Academy of Voice, led by a renowned tenor in Wales, Dennis O'Neill. And I'm delighted to welcome from the academy, Catherine I. Davis, to sing for you. Catherine was a student at the Royal Welsh County College of Music and Drama. She got a postgraduate diploma with distinction from the Royal Academy of Music, and she's going to sing Puccini's aria from La Boheme, which is Un Bel di Bedremo. She will be accompanied by Jane Samuel.
ladies and gentlemen, finally, it's my pleasure to draw proceedings to a close. Um, this has been truly a joyous occasion. I hope you've enjoyed the ceremony. Both parents and graduates can now go and really let their hairs down and enjoy themselves. Thank you very much.